All right, welcome back to another episode of The Journey. After lots of searching, I think I finally found a cheap Moto Vlog setup that's been working very well for me. Hang with me and I'll show you a non-permanent mounted, inexpensive setup that produces great results. Coming up. Alright, so far I've used a few mounts and a few microphones and so far I just haven't been happy with the quality that I've gotten out of them. In addition, they've just been a little finicky and fussy putting the helmet on and taking it off um, and having to mount something on my, my shirt. What we actually have is the uh, Tajiner mount and the Purple Panda mic. Um, it's a very simple strap system uh, that mounts in the front of your helmet. It's a chin mount and it just has the threads here for any GoPro style action cam. Um, GoPro uses that, although I think most of the knockoffs also have uh, that same mount. So uh, the beauty of this is, is that it's not permanent. Um, once you put it on here, it's just a simple buckle system in the back, and I'm able to actually take the clip for the lav mic, the Purple Panda mic, and just clip it right to that buckle. Um, so I'm able to take the camera on and off to change batteries and offload video. But um, you know, at the end of the day, if I want to take this and put it on another helmet, or you know, if you have a really nice, expensive helmet and you're not sure if you want to get into this too much or or whatnot, um, you can just take this mount off, and it only costs like ten bucks. The microphone itself, um, this particular one, I think it's gone up in price lately. It's like thirty or thirty-five dollars, but it's well worth the money. Um, whenever I went to go buy it the first time, it was out of stock, and I just got a twenty-dollar. Uh, Boya BYM1 mic and that really didn't uh, didn't really do it for me it was always clipping and plus it has batteries too so the beauty of this mic is there's no batteries it just plugs right into the GoPro it comes with um, a lot of adapters and extensions you don't need the extensions because everything you know I can just bunch it right up in the front here um, and tuck it between the behind the mount and it doesn't really go anywhere and it does have an adapter that works for this, which is the GoPro Hero 4, and I did use that. So it comes with everything you need. Uh, the only exception, though, is with the newer GoPros, I think you have to have a separate adapter box that you have to pay for. So you just be mindful of that if it's the 5 and up, I believe. The only downside that I found so far is that this doesn't go down all the way, so the visor has a slight crack to it. So as long as the weather's nice, it's fine. Um, I haven't noticed any whistling or any of that, but uh, it's something to be mindful of. In addition, the front vent, I just leave this open, but um, opening and closing that on many helmets is just gonna be covered. So uh, again, just a minor inconvenience, but something worth noting. So let's head out in the road and get some test footage. good about it. This whole time I've been searching for a lightweight uh, temporary way to attach the GoPro to my helmet. I think I found it. Looked on Amazon and I found for about 10 bucks. It's the uh, Tajiner, Tajineer, if you want to get French and fancy with it, Tezene. It's just a really cheap plastic mount with some, some webbing, but it fits the bill. And it's just, the view is so much better. I mean, this is what it was before. Compared to now. You actually see what's going on. It's not like you're being stuffed into my speedometer. So super simple. Um, for me, I just had to take out the webbing in the bottom. And there's a, an air deflector. I guess I'll call it, um, which I had to take out. But those things, you know, they snap in, they snap out. So again, it's just a temporary mod. If somebody's looking to get started with moto vlogging. I mean, I already had the GoPro, so that was, you know, essentially free to me. But like, between that and a cheap lab mic, you're into it for like 20 bucks. You can't go wrong. 
get out there and start making videos, you know? The audio is so much better too. I ended up getting the Purple Panda. Again, another Amazon, as you can tell by the name. It's always ridiculous, uh, ridiculous names for things. On Amazon, it's just a lab mic. It was like 30, 40 bucks, which uh, for lab mics, you know, not that cheap, I guess. But um, I got another one, the Boya BYM1, and you'll see my first few videos I made with that. It's okay, but the audio clips and all that, so I'm really hoping this is the fix. This comes highly recommended. It was sold out uh, whenever I went to go buy it the first time. good enough picking up my voice it's just normal talking right here I always feel like I have to yell into it because I can't actually hear myself if I lean into it you get clipping and of course this is the, the GoPro Hero 4 Silver which didn't they didn't have any stabilization back then so you know this has nothing for digital stave or obviously not in body stabilization. I don't think any GoPro has that. But I really think that uh, being directly attached to the helmet like this should should smooth out a lot of the bumps. So, you know, just to prove you don't need to have the latest and greatest GoPro to make a decent video. Personally, I feel like it looks and sounds excellent for the money. Don't forget to hit the like button, consider subscribing if you enjoyed this, and hit the bell notification. It will tell you when I have new videos coming up on the channel. Um, if you have any feedback for me, or if there's anything you want me to review, say so in the comment section below. Um, I do consider everything you tell me, and I appreciate it. Honestly, it's only through you and the feedback you give me that this channel is going to grow. So, thanks very much, and as always, ride safe, and I'll see you on the next one.